Welcome back to the Crypto Report, everybody. I'm Crypto Kip. Today, we're doing a quick video, a little bit about the Bitcoin price breaking up towards 28K as the Bitcoin bears are getting crushed on the options expirations today. And shorts are just getting squeezed in general. And, and people are looking at this banking crisis and looking to buy assets where they can protect themselves. And right now, it looks to be Bitcoin and even gold's going up. Uh, so we'll talk a little bit about that. And also one of the largest cryptocurrency YouTube influencers uh, out there came out with the identity of Ryoshi, the founder of Shiba Inu. So we got to talk a little bit about this. Is this real? What does this mean for Shiba Inu? And what's going on with crypto? Let's get into it, guys. If you like the content, smash up the like button, subscribe to the channel. We're doing five videos every single day for you. And at 10,000 subscribers, we're giving away $1,000 worth of Bitcoin to one lucky subscriber. So do not miss out, folks. Uh, and yeah, I mean, a $1.13 trillion market cap is a fantastic market cap for Bitcoin and crypto. And uh, we call it, I mean, we bounced off the trillion dollar level and we are moving up still. Bitcoin dominance is at 40 Five percent. Bitcoin is incredibly strong right now, up 33%, guys. 33% over the last seven days. Absolutely incredible. And taking a peek at Shiba Inu on some of this news is only up 7% over the last seven days. I. It's crazy to think that Bitcoin is outperforming some of the most pumpable altcoins out there, but there's a big reason for that, guys. Bitcoin dominance is up. Bitcoin dominance should continue to go up, really, until... The bull market gets into full force, and then eventually an altcoin rally comes. But uh, let's take a peek at some of this, guys. So right now, here's the chart on Bitcoin. Uh, we drew this channel, right, for Bitcoin on these white lines, and it, it ranged all the way down from recently at $20,000 all the way up to where we currently are right now. And our daily candle just broke through this channel. And if this ca candle can close above this line here at about 62000 60 excuse me, 26,276. And then we could easily expect some more upside out of Bitcoin. A lot of people are calling for $28,000 Bitcoin right now. You zoom out a little bit. And honestly, it would not be surprising at all if we did hit that $30,000 range, which is where a lot of these candles are and previous trading volume was. So this is something we're going to have to take a peek at um, as it continues to unfold. But right now, just to note, the dollar is crashing today. It is down a little bit over the last hour. Uh, just looking at this downtrend. Why? Because inflation is not getting any better. As these banks are collapsing, the Fed needs to stop doing interest rate hikes. That news comes out next uh, Monday and Tuesday, the FOMC meeting. So we got to keep an eye on the inflation numbers as well. But yeah, there is a, a big, big group of people that are looking for a $28,000 Bitcoin which may mean, hey, maybe we get a little retracement first if we're getting articles about a 28K Bitcoin. But I do expect it to kind of get to that $28,000, $30,000 level, um, possibly even this month. I, it would make a lot of sense if we got there this month, if not in the next day or so, really. It could be tonight. We'll have to keep an eye on it, guys. Um, but the bears are, are kind of the reason and the fuel behind this fire. I, nobody really expected this whole bailout of Silicon Valley and, and anybody who was placing their bets over the options expiry in the next in the last month. Um, if you're a bear, you could get wrecked. There's about $440 million of losses that could come uh, for these bears here when these options do expire today. And so that's something we got to keep in mind. And on top of that, uh, you know, there's a lot more bullish things going on in the market. Crypto bank crisis is occurring. No, 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 no. Fidelity expands into Bitcoin and Ethereum uh, trading for retail traders. They launched their crypto product yesterday, guys, in the middle of this banking crisis. People are trying to figure out how to buy crypto. They gave another on-ramp through a centralized entity, a, a regulated entity, Fidelity, guys. Fidelity ain't going anywhere. They can FUD the crypto exchanges all they want, but are they going to FUD Fidelity for offering, offering crypto products? We're going to have to see if the government steps in the way of fidelity on this one. But so far, uh, they haven't. And it's very interesting to see that we're getting a lot of crypto movement that is upward on the launch of this product. I don't know if they have anything to do with each other. I think the biggest story here is the banks collapsing. But this definitely adds fuel to the fire and the upside for Bitcoin. We'll keep an eye out, guys, on the liquidations for Bitcoin. But there have been millions upon millions of dollars, almost a billion dollars over the last one, two, three, four, five, like eight days. So this is something we're going to keep an eye on. As well, guys, but do know that the identity of Shiba Inu founder was revealed by BitBoy, guys. So they talk all about it in this article. And uh, the claim is 
is that it's a fella named Nema Jehan. And so that's really what he's saying here. Now, I've never heard of this guy, but apparently he was able to find the identity of this guy through looking at a crypto wallet that was tied to SBF because SBF was in a group of people that basically knew who he was and doing some investigating. He allegedly found the founder of Shiba Inu. Do you believe this? Is this legitimate? Is this real? Or... Um, is this just a conspiracy, right? Is this, uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And also, do you think this is a good thing or a bad thing for Shiba Inu? Does this ruin Shiba Inu? Does this make it better? Um, I think that it, it hurts it a little bit, but honestly, I think the power of Shiba Inu is so strong. It's such a community token. It probably won't matter. I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to see, guys. Not financial advice, but We'll keep an eye on this one. Just know that historically, right now, things are very, very low in cost. So if you're looking to buy some crypto, right now might be a good time to consider accumulating according to the four-year cycles that we typically see. And where we're at in the current market, which is the accumulation phase, guys. That is all we got on CryptoCap. Here is the loaded line giveaway we're doing on the channel of 25,000 subscribers. We're giving away this loaded line. And if you're a member on the channel, you get an additional 10 entries for every single month you're a member, as well as... These uh, loyalty badges next to your name in the comment section and custom emojis on our live streams every Tuesday, Thursday at 5.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. And if you are a member on top of the additional entries and these other perks, you do get access to our private Discord with Black Sea and I and the rest of the Crypto Report members to talk every single day with us, have a conversation, get engaged with the community, guys. That's all I got. I'm Crypto Kip. This is the Crypto Report. Don't forget to smash up the like button, subscribe to the channel, and as always... You got to remember to DCA HODL, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks, everybody. Have a great night. Got two videos for you here if you want to check them out. Peace.